Hey guys, this is Cloudwolf, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make custom 1.9 resource packs where you have special damages, and it's really cool. So let's get started. So first off, you're going to, you're, I'm just going to explain kind of what this, what you do. So you're going to be making a resource pack where you're altering weapons and stuff, and some of you may already know how to make a resource pack, but there's a special way with 1.9 where you can change the damage value. So if I have a sword and I get a diamond sword with a damage of 10 on it, so right now I'm carrying a special texture for my diamond sword. If I give myself a diamond sword with damage of 10, it'll look different, which is what is special about 1.9. So essentially, if you're using a diamond sword, you can have about 1,500 different textures just linked to different damages, which I already have a couple here, a lot here. Um, anyway, so, uh, so let's get started on how to actually make this texture pack. So first off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click the link in the description, and it's going to be th to this page, which is uh, a blank resource pack. So you're going to click here, and it's going to download your blank resource pack. So I already have it, so it's going to it's going to probably say 1, but anyway. So I'm going to open up the resource pack, and I don't need this page anymore. So in the resource pack, uh, you can use any, any kind of thing. I use WinRAR. So in the resource pack, you can see there's some basic things. There's assets, then Minecraft, then models, then item. So you're going to go to models, then item. So in here, I have a special... I have some default notepads for you. I have diamondsword.json and sword underscore name.json. So if you open the diamond sword, you can see that you have this. It says you don't need to really understand this, but you just need to be able to duplicate what I do here over and over. So right here it says layer zero is a diamond sword, so this is just going to make it look like a default diamond sword when you're holding the item. And then you're going to, these are the different damages and the different textures. So this one is saying that a damage with of 0 .001, which is about 10 damage, uh, no this is 5, If you well this is 5 damage, it, and it will give you sword underscore name and a damage of 0 .006, which is like 10 damage, is going to give you sword underscore name as well. So if you want to add more, you're just going to need to highlight all this and the comma, copy it, and paste it like that. So we're not really going to be going doing that many, so I'm just going to delete this. So we're just going to create one called test underscore sword. And as always, you can probably just duplicate this whole thing and copy it to like other items such as uh, you can link it to like diamond chest plates and stuff and you can create custom armors. So you're going to save it, then you're going to open your sword name. So your sword name is where the other file is referencing. So you want to change this to the name of your sword, test underscore sword. Then you're going to want to save it. Then you're going to right click on here and you're going to want to right click on here and rename it. You're going to want to rename it to the same thing which is test underscore sword. Dot JSON. Make sure you have the dot JSON, or else it won't work. Okay. So now you're going to go out of there, and you're going to go to textures, items. So in items textures, there's just this thumbs.db. That's all that's there. So you're going to want to open NovaSkin. Then you're going to go to resource packs. And NovaSkin.me is really useful. You can use other things, but it's really fast and easy to make a quick little texture. It's not. You're not going to make an actual texture pack. You're just going to find the diamond sword texture. And you're going to edit it. So you're going to take, let's see, so we're just going to make this one like a red sword, just for looks. We're going to color this red, just like this, and I'll be back when it's done. So we're back, and I have kind of finished making this kind of red bloody sword. I could add some blood drops here if I wanted. Whatever. Uh, I didn't really try and get something really nice. It's okay, this is just for the uh, demonstration. So you're going to click save and you can select it but you you click download and here's your thing and you click save. You right click the image, you click save image as. You're going to type in, uh, you're going to want to type test underscore sword so you want the same name. So then you're going to go to your wherever you want to store all these. I'm going to store it in a, on the desktop for now and you're going to click save. It's going to show that it downloaded and then you're gonna, you don't even need this anymore, you can just close the page. So now with your WinRAR here, just put it to the side, just put this to the side, so you have your sword, so you can open it, look at your sword, oh, it looks good. So 
if you did another means to do it, you can just check it. You want to open it with Microsoft Office Picture Manager or whatever picture editor. You want to edit it. If it's this small, it's probably good, but you want to check to resize to make sure it's 16 by 16 pixels. If you're using like a different website, it may default as like a big picture. So you're just going to click here and you're going to type 16 and by 16 and then you click OK and it'll make it 16 by 16 and you want to save your stuff. Okay, then you're gonna click and drag this image and put it right here and click OK. And that is all you have to do. Now you can have as many swords as you want. You're just gonna have to change the damage value. If you increment it by 0.1 or point, if you increment it by like 0.1 or 0.6, it like the one after this, if you do 0.6, it should do it every five damage value. So you give your diamond sword with the damage value of five, it'll give you the test sword. Damage value of six, it'll give you whenever your other sword is. And so now we get to just test it. So we're going to save it, save all this stuff, close it. Then we're going to go percent app data percent. Then we're going to go to dot Minecraft. Then we're going to go to resource packs. And we're going to click and drag this resource pack into there. Then we can close it, open up our Minecraft. And if you already have Minecraft open, you're going to want to close Minecraft and or else it won't load the resource pack. So you're going to open it, go on to your world, then options, resource packs, and here's your blank resource pack, done. Then you're going to type slash give at p diamond underscore sword damage of five. Oh, that was five of them. Damage of five. Here we go. And as you can see, we have our red sword. And that is all I'm going to be going over today, guys. If you want me to do a tutorial on like, how to make different models and different, different things like armor and stuff, if you have any confusions, I'll be glad to make it. Just leave a post in the comments. I'll, I will be doing custom armors and custom texture packs for the upcoming server. So I, it'll be really easy for me to show it just like this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all later.